future. And later we'll meet a Jewish leader who has left the temple to take services to the ski slopes. She explains her mission coming up. Uh, Colorado is a place which lures those who love the outdoors. Well, now one rabbi is using the love of the outdoors and adventure as a backdrop for worship. Our religion was born on an adventure. With this adventure rabbi explains her unusual outreach program when we come back. Well, she's beautiful, she's athletic, but that is not what is drawing so many people to visit her on the slopes. It's her twin passions for religion and for the outdoors that are creating quite a following. And here's CBS 4's Paul Day. Tradition calls for lighting candles. Festive music fills the air. Hanukkah is a reason to celebrate, but many here prefer to be somewhere else as the leader of this worship service. People today won't do something unless it's meaningful, unless it's relevant, unless it speaks to them. Jamie Korngold is an ordained rabbi who just happens to be an extreme skier. She believes busting through fresh powder, basking in wilderness scenery, is a more powerful spiritual experience than sitting in a synagogue. Our religion was born on an adventure. So Jamie's program is called Adventure Rabbi. And on select Saturdays, you'll find her worshiping on the slopes at Copper Mountain. Cover your eyes if you're comfortable and just let your soul sing out. No traditional two hour service God for her. Really Rabbi Korngold keeps it short, about 15 no. minutes. It's a great way to pray with the sun on your face and the snow beneath your feet. She's reaching people that uh, haven't been reached before. I'm able. Participants come from far away to share Jamie's twin passions for Judaism and the outdoors. What I try to do with this group is I try to give them a few tools so that they can take this day of skiing and make it into a holy day. Adventure Rabbi has this popular website attracting 180,000 hits per month. Visitors to the site come from all over the states, plus two dozen foreign countries. It's really reaching people. Jamie is reconnecting Jews to their faith in a way never done before. Now her original idea is about to be copied. Thanks to a grant, 10 student rabbis are being trained as adventure rabbis. And in Colorado, her sought-after services are offered year-round. It's a place that is a refuge. It's a place that is a retreat. This family wanted their son's bar mitzvah in the majestic canyons west of Boulder. This guy loves it. Kids as well as seniors come out for this holiday celebration, but Jamie believes many feel disconnected. 70% of the Jews in America are not affiliated with congregations. But most are drawn to the great outdoors, and by going with them, the adventure rabbi hopes to help fill their void. We have brought so many people joyously back to Judaism in a way that's non-judgmental, in a way that's relevant, meaningful, accessible, and joyous. And what could be better than that? Paul Day, CBS4 News. And you can learn more about the Adventure Rabbi at CBS4Denver.com, where we're always on.